talk. <laughs> Hi guys. Ignore the cat butt. Yes, welcome on this channel. Welcome back. If there's anyone left since the last video I published has been two years ago, from what I've seen. Yeah, I thought it's about time to maybe do something on this channel again. But since it's been a while, hello, my name is Nora, I'm from Germany, I'm a small business owner, love to crochet and knit. It's actually started on this channel with the handbag, canvas bag, shopping bag, um, crochet video and ever since then I, yeah, developed quite a obsession with yarn, anything craft related, well that has always been, been the case, but yarn related, um, crocheting and knitting. I started knitting two years ago, I think, something like that. And yeah, we have two cats now. I think you've seen one that uh, unfortunately has passed away. We now adopted Peter and Holly and yeah I guess we'll try to catch up over the time but a lot obviously has happened we are in a new flat now and yeah <laughs> I guess we're gonna jump in I have some orders to do uh, I started a little sale over the Easter period and that's been active since yesterday. Today is Saturday the 30th of March. And let me just check. Yeah, I have 18 open orders. Some of them also are crochet related or knitting related. And yeah, I guess we get back in to the whole small business diary vlog style in English. <laughs> um, on my main YouTube channel, which is only in German, I talk about knitting, crocheting, also a little bit of my, or about my small business, but yeah, I want to get back here as well. Since it's Saturday, we are also cleaning a little bit, my boyfriend and I. It's also Easter soon, as I mentioned, so it's gonna be a little bit hectic. <laughs> That's why I really want to start to do the orders. We've been at the gym this morning and yeah, I'm a little bit tired. Oh, you've also seen me crocheting already because I crocheted our Easter gift baskets. We don't really gift big presents over Easter to our family and friends and whatnot but I thought it would be cute since we're gonna have a little brunch over at our place on Easter Monday to just do something for the guests with mostly chocolates and stuff that they can receive. Yeah. I need to find my motivation, as you maybe can realize, but I already prepared this. <laughs> These are scrunchies that I'm selling in my Etsy shop and I just put this tag around that's just black. So I don't know how useful it actually is, but I think it maybe looks a little bit more professional, who knows. Um, I just clipped these things here around to make it stick together. Oh yeah, it worked. Nice. It's holding together because I basically just used glue stick. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, these are the two colors that are sold. Rosé and dark blue. And then I also sold brown and teal color and yeah since I do a two pack I put them together not sure if I should write my 
Etsy shop on here. Maybe. Maybe I do that. Ta-da! Noir Art is my Etsy shop name now. And I guess by now you also realized that I updated this channel name into Noir Art and Craft as well. <laughs> yeah, since I changed it a while ago on my Etsy and it doesn't make sense to keep this channel name as it was before. Okay. Ta-da! A little touch of branding, if you could even t uh, say it like that. Okay, now the very first order I received before I had my sale was from Iris. Most of them are going to Germany as well, by the way. And she ordered stitch markers, no, needle stoppers, uh, yeah, to put on the knitting needles and I'm gonna get them. These I ordered from wholesale so most of the stuff on my Etsy shop is handmade, is self-made but not my needle stoppers but I guess that's fine I'm transparent about it and I ordered them wholesale so they're it's possible to resell them. These here just these little monster uh, Knitting needle stoppers are for iris and I always put a little sticker or something as a little gift as well. Then I need to do some stitch markers, pink yarn balls and also sp spring flower knitting needle stoppers are going to Ina. For my stitch markers I use different kinds of hooks or materials. For these ones that's the little pink yarn ball. I use these earring hooks so technically if ordered in a set of two these could also be worn as earrings <laughs> which I find pretty cool. So I'm just putting this together as a little stitch marker now with my little plier set. And done. So this goes to Ina together with these needle stoppers. And yeah, I guess I'll just go through the easiest to put together orders at the moment for myself so that I have them ready and can send them already in the post box. Because as I said, most of them go to Germany, so it's easy to do via mail post box mail um, yeah and I will my goal is now today to put the easier ones out of the Etsy system so they're on the way and I can focus on the ones where I need to crochet something for for example yeah I'm gonna do this and give you a little overview of the orders then <laughs>
work orders are in here I have I think five left open but one is completely brand new since a couple of minutes <clears throat> yeah five one of them has to be crocheted and the others there's also something involved where I need to be a bit more crafty and since my brother is sleeping over tomorrow evening in this guest bed here that I set up fresh for him already today I just didn't want to make this room even more messy than it already is and I'm very tired so 
I think is, is amazing from, I think that was then 19 orders in total, down to five is pretty impressive. I can put them in the mailbox tomorrow. I mean, it's bank holidays, so no one will process them until Tuesday, but then they're at least on the way and out of here. <laughs> um, ah. One more I actually have to put on the list that came in via Instagram, so it's in total 20 orders. Wow, I've never had so many orders. It's amazing. Thank you if one of you ordered from me. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, that means we have six still left, but that's that's fine. I have time. I'm amazing on time with these orders at the moment. Yeah, I thought of starting that crochet beanie, but I guess I get to do that in the next couple of days. As I mentioned, I'm very tired now. I will chill on the couch with some vampire diaries. And I guess a knitting project? Not sure yet. Because I still have this test knit to finalize. This is the Lost One Shoulder Top by Friday Knits. I'm testing it for her and one shoulder or one side is basically already done. And now I just need to do the back. I guess I'll put that on the, on the couch to work on a bit. By the way, I'm also wearing a self-knitted sweater. This is the Marseille sweater by Petite Knit and I really like it. It's one of my faves. Yeah, and the, the top here in this amazing green color, I'm knitting in Aveta from Filcolana. Yeah, I still have one more after this left, but... I guess this is gonna be enough. So maybe I can make some nice socks with that one skein. Yeah, other than that, I'm also working on a cardigan. It's the... One of the cardigans by Petit Knit. I wanna say champagne cardigan. It could be that it's actually the champagne cardigan. And... Then also... A sweater in nearly the same color as this. I really like that color. From We Are Knitters. Yeah, and I have several other pro several other projects, but I'll see what I'll knit on. I guess I'll let you know tomorrow if there's time. If not, I'll be back after Easter. I say.
actually know what I updated you last on. I know that I recorded some footage of me doing several things. So I hope I catch on that immediately. Um, I crocheted this beanie. <laughs> it's done completely. And I think it turned out really cool. I hope the person who ordered this enjoys it. I can send it out later tonight. I have everything ready, the shipping label. Um, not really the personalized note yet because I want to write something down like how to take care of this and stuff. So that the person who ordered this named Milton from Sweden. It's so amazing. I am so thankful that someone ordered this um, and yeah I'm able to crochet things for other people it's just a little wish that came true and it's amazing um what did I want to say yeah I just need to write a little thank you note and stuff and then I can send this out um, then I also made for another order these stitch markers with some polymer clay. That's something you saw. So these can go out. It's just a little stitch marker set. I made these for Valentine's Day, but they can obviously be used throughout the whole year. Just some little hearty stuff. And the person also ordered these... Uh, needle stoppers and then what else did I make? I made with polymer clay also my monstera leaves so I can make earrings because they have been ordered. I need to make some more scrunchies because I ran out of some colors which also is amazing. Ah and I made this bookmark because I didn't have any in stock anymore. I make these on my iPad, I draw them myself, print them out with my handy little printer, laminate them either in matte or shiny optic lamination stuff, cut them out and then either put a tassel on them or not, depending on how they're ordered. So these are two orders that are done as well. That a person who ordered this with a tassel, that's the thing I still need to do. Also ordered knitting stoppers, needle stoppers. And this little stitch marker, it's a pumpkin. And my We Are One diversity sticker. Yeah. Um... What else? I crocheted some bandanas that are soon gonna be in my Etsy as well. I have this one. And this color which I really like. And my favorite is this one though. Um, I have not done the outline, the edges and stuff and the binding strings <laughs> haven't done those yet but I'm sure I'll finish this in no time and I have more uh, cotton yarn that's in these nice variation in these colors so that's that was my goal to first get kind of rid of that yarn I want to make as many of these pieces as I can with one skein I think I have some of the colors I have in two skeins though oh of some colors I have two skeins um, but yeah I want to make as many as possible and then once I have created all of them I want to put them up on my Etsy so I know exactly um, the number I can put in there and then I just want to see how it sells and then maybe potentially get more of the same colors and maybe more colors because I'm using hobby cotton yarn the print version and I really enjoy it. I think it uh, looks really nice and it's it feels very nice too. Yeah, and then some knitting that I did, obviously. But about the knitting part, I guess I will talk in a bit because my whole knitting projects are scattered around the whole flat. Um, and we're gonna have dinner soon, just some chili, I guess, with 
pasta. Maybe not so traditional, but it actually tastes very nice. And then... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna relax a bit more, maybe crochet or knit more. And then the next couple of days I will update you about my knitting. Why did I say this very Canadian now? I don't know. <laughs> maybe it didn't sound like it on tape, but kind of in my own ears it did sound about very Canadian. <laughs> um. Yeah, I hope that was it. Ah. For the hat I ordered some compostable, biodegradable mailers and I also have large, larger post boxes now that I also ordered. So yeah, my Etsy sending stuff is also improving. I have some tissue paper coming in as well. I guess the hat now will not be sent out with some, unfortunately. But I really wanted to leave the flat today, so it's on its way to the new owner. <sighs> yeah, and I guess that's it for now. I will continue a bit working on my orders once we had lunch, uh, dinner. And then I'm gonna chill on the couch. That's the plan. <laughs> hiking with my family yesterday where I originally come from it's a little bit further not that far but a little bit further away from here um, was very lovely I managed to be done with all of my Etsy orders today I packed the last one that was open on Etsy I still have one on Instagram but that's fine um, I'm very happy <laughs> that I dealt with all of the orders. I managed to crochet some more bandana triangles. Not sure if I showed you this one. Then I have this one as well. And I think this one I already showed you, right? But I started with the outline and the borders and stuff of that one, so... I can take my time now, chill with those triangles and put them in the shop once I have them all done. That's really nice to soon have some uh, summary things that I can put in my shop too. 
And then let's get to the knitting talk, I would say. Um, the things that I'm currently knitting on the most are obviously my test knit. It's this top by Friday Knit. It's a one, no, lost one shoulder top. Uh, I think I showed this to you already in this vlog, right? <laughs> and since then I managed to be done with the complete top. The only thing that's missing is the border, which I'll get to in the next couple of days. I already told you that I'm working on this with Phil Colana from Aveta, I think, right? Yeah. But it's really nice. I shall be done with this soon so I can take some nice pictures as well and stuff and send uh, the feedback form, etc. And then just for my own pleasure, the top or um, sweater that I mentioned in a very similar color, as you can see on my now also newly done nails since at least a week now though, I think. Um, I really like this color. So I have this here as well. This is the Audrey sweater by We Are No Wool and a Gang. And I use Al Pacino Merino yarn. Um, it's a set, a kit that it came together with. I already managed to finish the backside or front. It doesn't really matter, they're both the same. And I'm now working on the other side, a little bit less than half, I think, of it I managed. I'm yeah, working on this every now and then. It's worked with an 8mm needle, so pretty thick yarn. That's why it's going relatively fast, even though I'm not working on this every day. Then I have a cardigan, which is the champagne cardigan. I think I mentioned that to you as well. I'm now 100% sure it's called the champagne cardigan. And this is knitted in Phil Colana, no, sorry, Sunday, double Sunday from Sun is Gone, together with a, I think it's called Diablo yarn by Hobby. It's one of their mohair yarns that doesn't contain silk but I think acrylic fibers as well or something. Yeah, but together it has this really nice marled look, which I enjoy a lot. I'm still working on the body. I split four sleeves a long time ago. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit more on the body left and then I can proceed with the sleeves. Yeah, but uh, I enjoy this project. I wish to be done with this soon since it's getting more warm now. Also the Audrey sweater would be really great to have this done soon. So I can continue with some more warm weather friendly stuff. But obviously since I work on parallel projects or more projects in parallel it's going to be a bit harder to finish them before it's getting too hot. We will see. And the last warm one that I'm working on is a Monday sweater. It's also a pattern by Petite Knit, same as with the champagne cardigan. And this is a special project because I made two different sleeve colors, as you can see. And the body is black. The body is also knitted in Double Sunday by Sanneskan. And the arms are knitted in hand dyed yarn by Sorella Yarns and it's from the Taylor Swift collection so it's super special to me as well. We have, I think this is Shake It Off and should have said no is this color. I remember the names but I'm not 100% sure anymore which one is which. But yeah, I really enjoy those colors together with this Sunday. It's lovely. The only thing is... I didn't knit on that color work in um, that one special technique name. What's it called? Forgot it. Forgot the name of it, but whatever. You're supposed to change the yarn and twist it somehow. 
I think you know what I mean, but I didn't do this. I tried to take the the yarn that I was not working with, I tried to put it behind and kind of take it along, but since it's worked in the round, it didn't make any sense because then I ended up somewhere else with my strand of yarn or should have taken it along the whole ride of the sweater, which just would have been too much um, yarn that I use up, so I ended up um, cutting the yarn and that's why I have all of these loose ends. I hope this made any sense, I'm not sure. Um, that's what I ended up with, I'm trying to sew them in every now and then. I did this already a lot on this side, maybe you can see that there's less than here to be sewn in. Um, yeah, and I'm now in need of continuing the body with a new ball of yarn. So maybe before I join with a new ball, I will try to sew in more ends so I soon can continue with the first arm. I'm not sure how I'll do that yet, but yeah, this is something I work on every now and then. I really enjoy the pattern. I like how it looks, but the thing with the loose ends was or still is a bit of a pain. <laughs> That's why I think I hibernate it every now and then. It's fine. Or have it in hibernation, the project? How do you say it? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, and then a couple of days ago I started a new project. I know. <laughs> I have enough projects already. I have way too many works in progress, but that's what it is. I wanted to start something new and it's this tiny project. Yes, it's a baby knit. It's also a pattern by Petite Knit. It's the Holger set that I'm knitting on and no, I'm not pregnant. It's for friends of mine. My boyfriend and I, we don't want kids, so that's never gonna be something that I knit for myself. I like how it looks. I think it's super cute, so I'm happy to yeah, knit some stuff like this for others. That's totally fine for me. And I have some small balls of yarn lying around, some odd skeins. So I thought I use them in this cool set. This is how it looks like. Uh, I just finished the left shoulder and will continue with the right shoulder soon. And these are the balls I'm using right now. It's, I think, Evergreen by Hobie. I think it's no longer in their portfolio, but um, I had these here. I have more than just these two. <laughs> so I thought I use it because the Holga set. Looks like this and is super cute. <laughs> um, also has pants. So I thought I use, since I have more of this yarn, I use this same yarn for the pants and then maybe incorporate some of this color as well somehow. Um, so that it fits together. Yeah, and I have some other colors that I can mix in here too. And uh, yeah, it's turning out really cute. It's very soft and... I hope they will enjoy it, the couple that we're giving this to. This is supposed to be for a three to six month old baby, so I hope in the end it will fit their baby too. <laughs> we will see what they say. Yeah, that's that. A little bit of everything, a little bit of my actual small business stuff in this vlog, a little bit of my knitting that I still do for my own pleasure more or less, but I also do, how do you say that? I forgot that name. When someone reaches out to you and asks you to do something f for like a paid work kind of thing, I forgot the name of it, but I guess you know what I mean. Someone reached out to me a while ago on Instagram and I finished something for them knitting wise. So it's not only something that I, do only for my own pleasure. I also do gift knits. I also do that kind of stuff whenever someone reaches out, which have hasn't happened since. But yeah, so I'll try to show you a bit of everything that's going on, mostly 
because of the name of the video regarding my small business. I still hope you enjoyed all of it. I hope it was great to some extent at least. I feel like it's been all over the place but so was I I think kind of this week. Um, anyway if you like this, if you want to see more knitting content, if you want to see more only small business focused stuff let me know in the comments and I shall do so and I hope that we'll see each other soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye! Come on.